Hey guys, welcome back to another video where I'm bringing you those daily cryptocurrency news articles. Today's article comes from Crypto Slate and looks like Polygon is on its way to reaching mass adoption with major partnerships. Some of the biggest brands in the world are adopting Polygon as their blockchain of choice. So yeah, let's find out. Polygon is the layer two solution on Ethereum network. It's... Uh, Abbreviation name is Matic. So yeah, let's go over this article and see which partnerships are going with Matic. So Ethereum sidechain skilling solution Polygon, aka Matic, is making waves and onboarding major brands into Web3. When everyone is talking about Web5, uh, they're more like making fun of Web5, sorry Jack Dorsey, <laughs> but in a potential future internet built upon Bitcoin, Polygon is showcasing the potential of Web3. Writer for the Today in Polygon, NARP, broke down some of the biggest brands currently working with Polygon. Most of the projects utilize the low energy use sidechain to mint NFTs for their brands, while Polygon offers many advantages for developers beyond NFTs. It seems that at present, traditional brands are most interested in dipping into Web3 through NFTs rather than more complex web implementations. However, several financial corporations also use Polygon to facilitate low-cost crypto transactions for their customers. Now, here are some of the partners. Here's the sports side of it all. So, DraftKings is a betting, casino, and fantasy sports company based in the U.S. The DraftKings NFT marketplace is built on top of Polygon to allow investors to buy and sell sports NFTs via the DraftKings website. The company also runs its validator for the Polygon chain. The NFL also used Polygon as NARB states through a partnership uh, with Ticketmaster. The NFL launched virtual commemorative tickets that it will distribute to fans attending select games on a complimentary basis. NFL NFTs created on the Polygon, block or Polygon network, so very nice. We also have Liverpool Football also utilizing the Polygon to launch its NFT collection. However, the project has been branded a disaster. Around 94% of the NFTs remained unsold. The football club raised around $1.4 million from the sale, which was a long way shy of its $11.2 million goal. In a statement, Liverpool FC chose Polygon because creating an NFT on Polygon has the same carbon impact as sending just 2.5 emails, meaning LFC NFTs consume 99.94% of less energy than projects on Ethereum. Yeah, that's a big deal for a lot of eco-friendly people out there. They're concerned about the energy it takes for proof-of-work networks, but there are so many projects out there. That's why I have Polygon, proof of stake. Uh, fashion. Now we have fashion industries involved in the Polygon network. We got Dolce & Gabbana. It broke the record for the highest value fashion NFT with a $6 million sale via its partnership with UXND. The release made its way into traditional fashion news cycles with institutions such as Vogue covering the release declaring it a million dollar success story. Macy's even joined the NFT revolution by launching an NFT of its infamous Thanksgiving Day Parade. According to the Wall Street Journal, the retailer was auctioning off 10 digital images of its Thanksgiving Day Parade balloons, including a floating firefighter from the 1940s. Another fashion industry is Adidas and Prada. Joined forces in, it in January to launch an NFT collection on the Polygon, uh, the project was designed to reward Adidas into the metaverse NFT holders with creator-owned art by digital artist Zach Lieberman. The final artwork has now been completed and can be viewed here. Individual tiles from the piece can be bought separately on OpenSea. The total volume of the overall artwork is currently 471 Ethereum. Now the technology. Which technology companies are you? incorporating Polygon network. Well, we got Adobe. They have integrated Polygon into its artist portfolio application. Behance artists, creators, and developers use Behance to showcase their talents online to fans and potential collaborators. Behance was launched in 2005 and has over 10 million users who now have an on-ramp to Web3 through Adobe and Polygon. NFTs minted on Polygon can be displayed on Behance with a link to OpenSea to reveal further information. And also Meta. 
Uh, Facebook's new logo and name, they have announced in May that it would be launching NFT integration with Instagram. The platform was launched to a handful of influencers on Polygon with Ethereum, Flow, and Solana to follow. The choice to launch solely on Polygon is a bold move for one of the world's largest companies. It further establishes Polygon as the go-to blockchain for traditional onboarding businesses. Ryan Wyatt, CEO of Polygon Studios, announced that Facebook chose Polygon due to our carbon neutral footprint, the skill we can offer, and the developer ecosystem choosing to build on Polygon. And I believe this might be the last one, the financial sector, uh, who's using Polygon in this area. Stripe announced in April that it would begin testing USDC payments via Polygon to Twitter creators. Twitter users who earn money through events such as ticketed spaces can cash out via USDC instead of traditional banking methods. Most recently confirmed that it would support USDC payments via Circle accounts and the Circle API without manual bridging. The integration into the Circle account allows developers to convert fiat into crypto through a simple API mechanism, Circle stated. Polygon USDC offers faster and more efficient transactions while tapping into the robust developer ecosystem of Ethereum. With more than 19,000 apps and 2.7 million monthly active wallets, Polygon is a leading layer 2 scaling solution for the Ethereum network. The company further revealed that the users will be able to use the platform to quickly swap Polygon USDC for the native USDC across any supported chain. So yeah, very nice. Yeah, so Polygon has like quite a bit of people like uh, in businesses like involved in their network. Uh, they like it because it is cheaper. So we'll see what happens with the Ethereum 2.0 merge. What if that will have any role on Polygon Maddox? thing but i think i don't know was i listening to the modern investor this morning like there is an article out there maybe like saying that oh we could have to push back the ethereum blockchain which is making a lot of people upset because they've been waiting so long so like just give us an actual date when is this possible is it going to work yes no but yeah so polygon is still the better option of it because it's layer two it makes it faster so ethereum really didn't even need to do the proof of stake but eh, that's what they're doing but yeah so polygon whoo do your research, people. I, I do not have any Polygon at the moment. Uh, I do, I'm do. i intrigued in it. I like what they're doing. It's like it's all about diversifying and limiting yourself, like what you can get right now. But like my, so like Polygon is on the list for a potentially good project. So that's my opinion on that. Just letting you know. But just always do your own research before diving in. Again, this is great news for adoption and people using their network. So pretty cool. If you guys like this article, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a beat, and until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.